I think guys I do have the temperature for the solder in the furnace and the right pressure so let's see lead and iron one to one let's see 100 g of solder perfect Hello guys, I'm Saddam with the Bears and I am back with episode number 4. I did some minor improvement or minor changes to my base and I think I'm going to build a greenhouse over here, just a small one. So I need to move some machines. Let's plan the greenhouse and i think i need it i need to move this machine as well at least a little bit otherwise it will print everything through the window on the greenhouse so let's move it no maybe the grinder perfect now the driver and what's next oh <laughs> small ink of explosion so let's move the electronic electronic sprinter maybe just here and this is going to be the, the window of the greenhouse so it should be fine so if i remember right of course i don't so welding first then the coils i guess and yeah, then the coils then the plastic sheets right and then the screwdriver yeah perfect finally so let's connect it to the power and of course i will move this machine many many times but this is just a, just a temporary as as everything you know what i mean guys right Everything in station years is just temporary. Let's fill this machine with the resources and I think I need to print some composite windows and I'm still missing one, at least one, two probably two steel frames and I think I do I do have some steel over here right no, that's that's nothing so steel frames mm, I can print maybe five or six this is not going to help me so I will need to smelt some steel yeah let's let's do the steel again now i can't remember where is the furnace okay here perfect so let's do it here maybe just like this or maybe a little bit higher just in case hopefully the, oh yeah, the, the pipes are inside so 
What's the next? I think iron sheet, right? So iron sheet and let's build it. Oh shoot! <laughs> I just opened my helmet again. I think it is going to be better if I will lock my helmet. Okay, I don't want to open my helmet again. So now I can't remember how to build the furnace. Okay, not welding, maybe steel sheets, I can't remember, no, I can't. it can't be steel sheets, because when I start the game, then I don't have any steel sheets, right? So frames, iron sheets, and maybe a wrench, yep, that was the wrench, and now maybe the welding. Yeah, perfect. So I do remember something. So iron sheets over here. And now I need some pipes. Hmm, how I'm going to do it? Pipes. I can't find my pipes. I'm sure I do have pipes somewhere, but where the hell is it? I do have the filter in my suite still. Okay, I have the pipes. The six and two, that's eight. It should be more than enough. Just like this and I will connect this uh, activant with the, with the furnace. That's the input, and this is the output. And maybe a T junction, just in case, right? I know this is not the best way how to connect it, but. Just like this, and the pipe goes up, and I will need more pipes. More pipes, yes. So I'm going to print some pipes. Of course, I don't have anything inside. So let's do some pipes. Maybe 10 pipes. I will, I will make some kind of a chimney over here. It is going to be like a buffer. Because I don't want to destroy the furnace. If it is going to be uh, overpressurized, it will explode. I think I did mention it in a previous episode so it's going to be the chimney I'm not going to use it for anything I will just make the volume of the furnace a little bit bigger so it won't explode hopefully we will see oh shoot <laughs> Yeah, this is always the same story. You start printing something and then you forget about it. Okay, so <clears throat> I should have uh, plenty of pipes. I guess. Now I need volatiles and oxides. And of course I don't have any sword. So what do I do? 
Maybe I can build. Maybe I can build to the frame over here. Over here. So the pipes are connected. I don't need the input. So let's do it like this. Okay, I'm hungry. The energy is low. Everything is fine, right? So let's change the battery. I think I will print one more large battery. Yeah, only yeah, I can print only on only one. I don't have more resources. Maybe I should start the generator for a while. And this is going to be the air inside into the to the greenhouse. So I will use this frame over here and So let's see here and it should be fine I guess later I will make probably more greenhouses maybe iron sheets what is this iron hmm iron so Let's place it. And this is going to be small arrow because because why not, right? Now I need to remember how to build the airlock. Maybe with the wrench. Oh that's the construct or and welding. Steel sheets in right hand. Okay, so not the plastic sheets, but the steel sheet. And I think I have none. Yeah, I don't have much steel. So I will save the game and I'm going to do some mining. I'll be right back. Good thing on Mars is when you will insert the volatiles inside the furnace, they will melt. Of course, not completely, but every little helps, right? So let's see if we can start the furnace. Okay, the furnace is burning and the pressure is fine. So let's melt steel so I will take 150 iron ingots so 50 more and 50 coal so it will it gives it will give me 200 steel which is plenty for a while so this is how to make steel, very easy. Okay, this should be 200 steel, perfect. Boom. Oh. <laughs> that steel just tried to attack me, that's not fair. So, taker, divide the steel. And I should have an iron frame somewhere. So I will use it as a floor for the furnace over here. Let's go back. I will do some welding again. Of course I need to find iron sheets, perfect, I do have it, 
now a little bit of welding and I will have the platform for the, the furnace so hopefully the ingots will not attack me again hopefully just like this everything is welded and I don't have any iron maybe guys I'm going to do one more short mining trip so mining is done I'm going to smelt the iron ingots which is very easy I will just wait here and I will just toss the iron ore into the furnace and it will speed it out Because you know like if you are running the gas furnace and you smelted some steel then you can use the heat for smelting else you don't need like the normal arc furnace is uh, very slow so this is the iron I should have a little bit more just like this and everything is smelty and maybe I will still have the heat for a little bit of steel so let's close the furnace so I will do 200 steel again or maybe more maybe more because everything is going to be steel so I will take 100 coal And now it should be steel. Perfect, so this is steel. And let's do more. Or oh, 200 more. This is how to smelt the steel. It, it is very, very easy. If you have the temperature and basically almost any pressure, like the steel is the most easy alloy and you can you can make it very very fast so now it should be steel again perfect so i should be fine with steel for a while crocodile <laughs> so let's divide the ingots Okay, this is the large battery I wanted and I will print at least maybe one or two more or do I need gold I do have the gold so let's print maybe two large batteries I don't like this small batteries this was the alarm everything is fine So, we have plenty of steel and everything should be fine. Okay, so charging the large batteries or maybe two more. Then, then I will have uh, the large batteries inside the charger and it will be full. So one more and okay, what do I need? Copper. I have a lot of copper, that's not a problem. So one more large battery cell. Power is fine. So 
let's make one more and then I can print some steel frames and steel sheets. Oh, there is another copper, perfect. So another large battery. Is charging, so let's see what we can make in this electronic printer. What do I need? GPS? No. I see, not yet, and I'm sure it, it is using some alloys. Automated hydroponics. Yeah, probably later. Hmm. Elevator, fabricator, and gas fuel generator. Some radiators, of course, I want to radiate. Now I know what I wanted to print, guys. Now I just remember, I need carbon filter. Carbon dioxide. At least one. Because my suite, my filter in my suite is going down and I don't want to die just because of stupid filter, guys. So one, what the hell did I, <laughs> why the hell did I print large battery again? So carbon. Okay, that's a brand new filter. More batteries. This is the empty or used filter. So these are the steel frames. Maybe five more, and that's it. So pipes. I will need some pipes and. I need an atmospheric unit. Or air conditioner, I can't remember. This is atmosphere and this is auto printer. Okay, that's not the right machine. Maybe this one. Let's see. It airlock up. Yeah, atmospherics. I need gold. Gold is fine. I I want to start. So uh, filtering the 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 hydrogen from this geyser. Because last time when I when I was playing with the geysers on Mars, it uh, couldn't blow the the frames. Okay, so we have one MPA of hydrogen or the the pressure inside this pipe, which is perfect. So now I need. This guy over here. Maybe just like this, I don't know. Maybe just like this. Or just like this. No, just like this. And of course I need to 
move the pipe so let's try it like this And of course, I don't have any pipes here on this side of the base. So now I have the pipes and how the hell I'm going to do it? Hmm. Can I place the atmospherics on the wall? No, I can't, right? It's a shame, it would look so good. So... Probably like this, right? So this, this is the output, maybe I can have the hydrogen tank over there and it should be fine let's connect it so it's connected now I have a uh, now I need a little bit of power and at least a small tank hmm Oh, I, I never saw this output and input with uh, any name or any hint on it. So I guess they added that into the game. Hydrogen filter, right? Yes, filter volatile. Perfect. So let's make it. Oh, that's not bad. That's just a uh, iron. It's not bad. So that will be volatiles. Maybe I could do some welding again. Come on, frames, stop fighting with me. And I will need steel sheets, right? So I do have some steel over here and iron. And I will need APC. So let's do some welding. Okay, so this is going to be welded. Now I'm thinking how I'm going to heat up the, the greenhouse. At least the start, the greenhouse. I should have a cereal bar in my inventory. Okay, now it's gone. Now I need to think. So I need at least one power controller oh shoot solder that's not good that's not good solder I can't remember what do I need for solder is it iron and lead maybe I'll be right back. 
Guys, I don't have any good news. I need solder. And it's lead and iron. I'm flying back with the lead. I found it. It wasn't hard, but I completely forget that I will need lead. I think guys, I do have the temperature for the solder in the furnace and the right pressure. So let's see, lead and iron one to one. Let's see, 100 G of solder, perfect. Maybe one more batch. Lead and iron. Solder is very easy, but steel is the most easy alloy to smelt. So I wanted to make APC, right? One is enough for me so far. I will use it here as a temporary power source for this filtration unit. So I will place it basically anywhere I want. Where do I want it? Maybe here, right? Of course, I could melt the iron, right? If the temperature is still fine, okay, the temperature is low, I can't smelt the iron. But let's do something. Maybe this will rise the temperature. No. Temperature is not very good. So I can't smell anything right now, but I can't complain. I have the solder and it was the most important thing right now so now I need uh, a little bit of cabling and I will connect this APC and everything will be better than it was so just like this and I can start to getting the hydrogen from the hydrogen ether. Of course, I need to place a battery here and I need to make some kind of a exhaust for this guy. So, battery and large tank, or oh, not the large tank, I need a small tank. Let's make one. What do I need? Steel. I do have steel, that's fine. So let's make it. Okay, so one steel tank. Then I need a passive vent. Okay, maybe a little bit more. 
iron for the pipe bender and I do have the the pipes right but I can't remember where probably here yes so let's place the small tank this is going to be temporary <laughs> as always Has some kind of a different color. At least it looks like that. So I want it. Hmm. Pipe here, which goes to the tank. And maybe could be just like this, maybe and I will need the uh, exhaust for this guy. When I will get the gases from the hydrogen geyser, then it will be pure hydrogen all the time. But the start will be mixed gas with something else. So this should be fine. And of course, I forget to bring the large battery. So let's go back. I will take one battery and filtration will run. Boom, this is it and the filtration will run now. So let's take a look and what is happening. Okay, so I'm getting the, the hydrogen. That's perfect guys, that's perfect. And if I will build the, the greenhouse, then I will have some kind, some amount of uh, oxygen from the ferns, then I will have uh, unlimited power, I guess. And of course the filtration unit has very, very low power consumption consumption so it will run forever basically so everything is fine now it will filter the garbage gases from the the room with hydrogen geyser and i will have a pure hydrogen this is the magic guys what do you say? A little bit more CO2 and I will have pure hydrogen all the time. Just a little bit more. So I have 530 moles of hydrogen. Exactly as I said, pure hydrogen. So, I guess, guys, this is it. So, I think, guys, I will continue with building the greenhouse in next episode. If you do like what I do, hit that like button subscribe follow me on mixer twitter and maybe even support on patreon so thank you very much guys for watching and see you in the next one